So we have our line type scale under control. Let's shift our attention to the plan sheets themselves. Now, one of the most common things that I want to add to my title block or to my plan sheets is none other than a plot stamp. Now, there are some other ways that we can go about this. There's an actual plot stamp feature inside of AutoCAD as an example. But honestly, the tool that I find the easiest and most reliable for plot stamps is none other than AutoCAD fields. So absolutely love AutoCAD fields. We'll talk about them in a bit more detail later on. But here inside of this document, down here I have the area where I would like to add my plot stamp. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm just going to double click in here. And this is just a simple piece of M text. I'm just going to clear out the text that is right there. And what we can do is begin adding fields to place dynamic data into my plot stamp. And the way I'll do that is from this contextual text editor interface that opens up in the ribbon. Under the insert panel, we have a button right here called field. I'm going to click on that. And what I can do is insert any number of properties about this plan set or this sheet. So as an example for the document, I might want the file name and maybe I want to make everything uppercase. We can certainly do that here as well. We have the option. Do I just want to show the file name, just the path or the path and the file name? And likewise, do I want to omit or include the extension of DWG? We'll keep it all and I'll go ahead and say, okay. And you'll see just like that, it has inserted the exact location that I've placed this drawing file. So I have the location of it. I can say maybe plotted, plotted on as an example, and come up here to field. And if we come under the field category, we have a whole category here for plot. And one of the properties I have is plot date. So we'll go ahead and maybe put the date, month, day, and year right there. And we'll go ahead and say, okay. Now I haven't plotted this drawing, so it just puts some dashes in there and that's okay. But then in addition to that, I'd like to also know who to blame for this sheet. So in addition to showing when I plotted the drawing, I'm also gonna show who plotted the drawing. And once again, we'll just go ahead and come up here to field and then put the login right here. And we can make that uppercase, lowercase. It's entirely up to you. We'll make it all uppercase here. And so there is my username right there. And as you can see, that is a dynamic plot stamp right there. You can include this in your title block block. And with fields, it's going to automatically update as you save plot and other folks plot this particular drawing. So just a super easy way to put plot stamps in your title blocks.